Some call it gossip. Call out a name or you gossip. Some call it bullshit. We call it being E with the T. Being E with the T. Oh, child, the ghetto. I don't want to do this anymore. It's only entertainment. We not make this CNE thing. This ain't gonna happen. Stop trying to make fetch happen, Taylor. No, it ain't happening. There ain't gonna be no CNE with the T. No. Okay. I'm like, tired of doing rumors. As I don't it even is. know why you wasted your time. Even though the intro was fantastic, I don't even know it's why dope. you wasted your time doing that. There ain't gonna be no CNE with no damn T. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This 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 rumor thing is numbered. Like I am gonna have my tea this morning though. Lemon ginger honey. All right. Well, let's jump to it. So mm-hmm. Cat Williams is back in the news. Of course, Saturday Night Live did a skit over the weekend where they uh, redid the uh, infamous interview. With over 50 million views, it was the conversation that broke the internet. Cat Williams. It's the truth, Shannon. Shannon Sharp. Now come on now. The Club Shay Shay interview. Cat Williams keeping it completely real. Three things are true about me. Mm-hmm. I am 5'3", mm-hmm. I have never told a lie, mm-hmm. and I am 6'3". Look, I don't mess with Barack Obama. I don't trust nobody who name is all vows. What? Why my mouth got to be open so long, hmm? Now, come on, Kay. He's a hero. You know his slogan, yes, we can? I came up with that. Before me, he was saying, probably, probably, I think we might. Oh, come on. You know that's blasphemous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Pretty who, damn funny. Who was that funny. in the sketch? I didn't, I didn't get a chance to see it. Who was that in the sketch? I didn't see it either. I know it was uh, uh, Ego played um, Cat. Who was mm-hmm. playing Shannon? I don't know. Was that Keenan? That wasn't Keenan. Who was who? Oh, Devin Walker plays Shannon Sharp. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. We'll salute to them. Yes, absolutely. And also, well, Dave Chappelle responded to Cat Williams and said he didn't like the fact that he was going at only black comedians. He don't eat the n****s. He didn't say anything about any of these white boys. And none of these white boys function like that. And Cat is one of the best painters in the game. Stop. And can't hurt people, hurt people, but I'm a hurt person that never hurt people. And he does it all the time. F- this one and f- that one and f- this one. But f- out of anything that you did wrong, he didn't do nothing wrong, I'm going to bring a f- the fat guy, Cat, that did this to me. He, Cat was talking about sh- that n- did to other, n- but not about anything that n- he did to him. If I told my story, it would break your heart. I lost everything and never, ever told on anybody. I mean, Dave, not wrong. No. I, I, I said the same thing. I said something very similar. If you're going to call out the power structure in Hollywood, don't go after, in your words, the puppets. Call out the folks pulling the strings. Don't call out the planters. Call out the people who are doing the planting. Like, you can't have any conversation about power in the entertainment industry and not talk about white folks. So if you really want to shake the room and you think that it's a real problem in the industry, you start at the top. You start at the head. Calling out a bunch of your peers does nothing but make you the talk of the worldwide nigga net. Mm -hmm. But don't listen to me because I'm a plant. That is true. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, also, Jennifer Hudson, she talks uh, a, a couple of months ago, she talked about a relationship and it was kind of like the, the secret relationship that everybody knows about. Now, if you don't remember, she had a conversation with Gail King on CBS Mornings and they were talking about this relationship, but did not say the young man's name. Personally, is Jennifer doing well? Yes. Word on the street is you're very happy. I am very in a happy. Very nice relationship. Yes, ma'am. With someone who shall remain nameless. <laughs> so you oh. booed up. <laughs> Boot up. Hmm. I think it's more sophisticated than boot up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's, but, a, it's, a, it's a situation shit. <laughs> situation It's not an entanglement is what I'm trying to it's say. It's definitely not an entanglement. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, today on the show, it seems like her boo, Common, will be on there. And here's a tease that they've been putting out all weekend. Now, we got to get down to business, Mr. Common. Mm-hmm. I'm a host, and so I have to ask you this question, because everybody always want to know this. Are you dating anyone? Yes, and I'm in a relationship that is one of the most beautiful people I ever met in life. She's, she's smart. She loves God. She has something real down to earth about her. Um, she's talented. But, but I, set, I set my standard kind of high, because she had to have an E-God. She, 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 she had to win an Oscar on her first movie. I set my standard high. She had to get her own talk show. Oh, OK. Yeah, so. <laughs> Is that the first time we've heard Common claim a woman publicly? I don't know. I'm trying to think about it. Well, he was out and about with Erica Badu when they were dating back in the day. Mm. Since Erica. 
don't no. know. <laughs> Serena? Yeah, Serena. He was dating uh, I don't Serena. I'm just asking. asking. Yeah, I'm asking yeah, the question. Yeah, the I don't Serena. know. I don't know. Well, well, he'll be on her show today. What time See, is the show? That's why at? we ain't got no tea. That's why we can't be giving out no tea because we ain't got none. <laughs> we got no tea. And lastly, Alec Baldwin is indicted again in, on uh, involuntary manslaughter charges. Now, I'm really confused with this. If you don't know what happened, they were shooting a movie. Uh, the gun was supposed to have uh, no bullets in it, and it was a scene where a gun, the gun discharged and killed a person. Uh, they're saying at one time that the charges were dropped. But then when the prosecutors dropped the charges, they said that they reserved the right to recharge him. And now it looks like they're recharging him. Alec Baldwin once again facing involuntary manslaughter charges for his handling of a gun on the set of the movie Rust that killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins. A New Mexico grand jury says the actor had total disregard or indifference for the safety of others. The indictment comes one year after he was initially charged. That charge dismissed last April. Baldwin has always maintained his innocence, beginning in his first meeting with investigators. At first, the FBI concluded that the gun could not have gone off accidentally, but the weapon was later re-examined with replacement parts. The defense will definitely have experts to say, this gun is not the gun that was the original gun. The original gun was so old that it fell apart when it was time for analysis. Baldwin in a statement saying, we look forward to our day in court. I, it, it, to me, I just be feeling like this case is ridiculous. I don't see how he's charged with a crime. Like, who loaded the gun with real ammo? It was supposed to be a prop gun. It, it was not a supposed prop to, gun. It's not supposed to have ammunition. Now, when you're on set, you're not. And this is when I did my my part of East New York, so that's how I exactly know. You're not allowed to point the gun at anybody. So if you really, really look, they point the gun away from somebody. Your finger is not supposed to be on the trigger. But these, I think all these rules and regulations came after the shooting. Yeah, but there should have never been a real gun on this set. Should have never been bullets or real bullets in it. If it was a real gun, it definitely shouldn't have had real ammo in it. And, you know, why would he, as an actor who's been acting for a long time, believe there was real ammo in the gun? Now, the only thing I can think of is what you just said. He shouldn't have been pointing the gun at anybody fake or otherwise Correct. but is that against the law no or is that just like an unwritten rule on movie sets and it's TV an unwritten sets? rule especially for insurance but like i said there is somebody on set that monitors that like when, when i when, when when shout to east new york i'm, I'm so mad that, that they took the east new york off but when i did the east new york show there's somebody that monitors how you hold the gun where the gun is supposed to be pointing they check the gun they make the the actors check the gun like it's a a rigorous that thing that they be double the and triple that, check. That shouldn't even be the actor's job. Like, why is that the actor's job to check the gun? Like, somebody dropped the ball here, and I don't think it's uh, Alec, Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. No, I just I think that, so you know, when you, you got a loaded gun on set with real ammo, like, that's an accident that should have never happened. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 whoever loaded that gun, that real gun, and bought it on set, that is the person I feel like should be charged. Absolutely. Why isn't, and why isn't that person charged? Why isn't the person? Are, are they? I, I don't know. No, I, I believe are that they? person is charged as well. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, Teslin Figaro has front page news. So don't move anywhere. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.